Hey guys, so today I have an eye makeup tutorial. Um, my face is already done. Today I use the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. Um, for concealers, I use the LA Girl um, Pro Conceal and the Bright Future Sephora um, concealer. I used uh, the Real Technique sponge. What else? To set the concealer, I used the RCMA Translucent Powder. Uh, my blush, I use the Note blush. For my bronzer, I use the NYC Color Wheel. For my brows, I use the Bodyography. And for my highlights, I'm using the Glow Kit and Sun Dipped, um, the Summer um, Highlight. And I think that's it for my face. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel, follow my other social media, and let's get started because I hate long ass intros and this was pretty long. Let's go. As you can see, I've already done one eye because I had no idea what I was gonna do, but now I do. <laughs> I'm gonna start out with the Artist Palette by Anastasia of Beverly Hills, which is this good old palette. And I'm going to be taking the eyeshadow named Fresh, which is that yellow one right there. I decided to do something yellow because I've been seeing all these yellow looks on all over Instagram and stuff. So I was like, all right. Well, it looks more orangey now because I did use a lot of oranges. But anyways, we'll get to that. I'm using a Sigma E40. Yes, E40 tapered blending brush. I should know this by now um, because I use this brush a lot. Anyways, I'm going to be putting this eyeshadow all over my crease, all over my upper crease, and I'm bringing it all the way up to my brow bone. Like, let's just do this, girl. So I'm just going to blend this from outer to inner corner, all the way in, all the way up, and all the way to the outer corner. Just, you know, flick it out. And I'm not going to be super neat about this because I want the yellow to be everywhere plus it's going to be covered by the other eyeshadows anyway but I do want the yellow to peek through so the next palette I'm using is the Reina del Caribe Alamar palette um, and I'm going to be taking Coco Taxi on this um, Morphe M504 brush and I'm going to be placing this onto the crease just as I did the fresh eyeshadow and I'm gonna bring it all the way in from outer to inner corner, but I will be keeping it a little bit lower than I did um, the eyeshadow named Fresh. Okay, so before I continue on, I'm gonna go back to Fresh and the, um, the brush that came in this palette on the smaller side, and I'm gonna be placing Fresh right under my lower lash list, my lower lash line. And I'm going to go all the way from outer to inner corner. And I'm going to do the same thing with Coco Taxi and the same brush. I cleaned it off a little bit. And I'm going to go place this right under my lashes. A little bit higher than I did the eyeshadow named Fresh. All the way from outer. Make sure you connect it out here to my inner corner. All right, next I'm gonna take Tropico from the Reina del Caribe palette on a Morphe M412 brush, and I'm gonna be placing Tropico on my outer V. I'm just gonna stamp it out here. And I'm also gonna bring it into the crease, but I'm gonna stop halfway. This one, I'm not gonna drag it all the way in. So the eyeshadow is gonna be on the outer V. Ooh, look at that pigmentation on this eyeshadow. It's so beautiful. All right, so back to Tropico and the brush that came in the Anastasia palette. Still using the same side, the small side. I'm going to be placing this on the lower lashes. And this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it halfway. I'm not gonna bring it all the way in. Connected on the outside as well. Actually, I brought it more like three quarters and not halfway. All right, this would be the time for me to go back and just blend the eyeshadows that I already have, which are Tropico, 
I'm gonna pick a little bit up on the brush and start blending out. I keep looking here and there's no mirror. I'm putting the wrong one down. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna start blending out any harsh lines before I continue. Um, now I'm going to take an eyeshadow from this palette. This is called the Naked Cosmetics palette. And um, it's these three eyeshadows. I'm going to be using this one right there. And I'm going to use my finger. And I'm going to place this on my inner, this whole section here, you know, where I have no eyeshadow. So I'm just going to place this over here. And keep it on this corner so I can um, blend it in with tropico but i want to keep the shimmer out uh, in the inner corner and the matte on the outer corner all right let me go back to tropico and the actual brush that i used for tropico which was the morphe m412 brush and now i'm just going to blend these two Just tap it a little bit and blend it out. I still have a little bit on my finger, so I'm going to use my finger again. And the brush. All right, I like that. It's looking good. All right, so now I'm going to be taking this eyeliner brush and the orange eyeshadow I just used from the Naked um, Cosmetics um, Trio. And I'm just going to pick some up and do my wing with it. And I'm also going to be placing this under my lower lashes. So you know what? I'm going to start under and wing it out and then come and connect it. See if I can do this in this little mirror. So I'm going to start this where I ended Tropico, which is um, three quarters in. And I'm just going to start lining bottom of my lashes with it hope you guys can see what I'm doing and I think I need a bigger mirror so let me grab this mirror okay so I'm gonna wing it out from the bottom And I'm going to wing it out almost all the way to, I hope that wasn't blurry. I'm sorry if it is. I can't see because I'm looking down. And, and I'm going to bring that wing all the way out to pretty close to my um, the tail of my brows. Okay, that looks good there. And now I'm bringing it in and connecting it here. All right, so that is it. Actually, no, we got to do our inner tear duct area, girl. Uh, I'm going to be using this crown brush. It's a C513 brush. And I'm going to go into El Malecón, which is this eyeshadow right here, from the Reina del Caribe palette by Alamar Cosmetics. And I'm going to place this on my inner tear duct area. And I'm going to connect it to my bottom lashes right where i left off so this little quarter piece here we'll get in money going on it all right so for mascara i'm going to be using the remote accelerator mascara and for my lashes i'm going to be using the salon perfect 615 lashes and um we are so done. for my lips i think i'm going to go totally the opposite of this nice bright eye shade i'm going to go with a dark shade um, this one is by um, La Ca and Company. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. It was a BoxyCharm thing. So it's called Storm. And it's like a really dark shade. So I don't know. Wish me luck. Um, and I'm going to put this Han Skincare Cosmetics All Natural Lip Gloss in this shade Raspberry Chardonnay right over it. So let's see what happens. I mean, if I don't like it, I can just take it off, right? Mm. 
Well, this is pretty dark, but I'm kind of feeling the contrast. Are you? Are you? Are you? Um, this is already glossy. I thought this was matte. So I really don't need the gloss, but I think I'm going to go for it anyway. But I'm not going to um, place it with the wand because I don't want to stain this. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and dab a little bit with my finger right over it and i hope i don't create a bigger mess because like i said this is already um glossy okay oh this smells so good it smells like cupcakes and I'm not even a cupcake type of person. I'm not even a cake person, let's be real. But I like the way they smell. Oh yes, this lip combo. Mm, so pretty. This is the kind of lipstick that you have to be careful because if you kiss anybody, you're gonna leave like a whole mess of shit on their skin. <laughs> So this is it, my darlings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this look. I am loving it. I am living for this combination, the dark lip with the bright eye. It's so pretty. I hope you guys like it as well. Obviously, you don't have to use uh, wear a darker lip. You can go with an orangey shade, a peachy shade, a nude, whatever makes your little heart happy, whatever you feel the most comfortable with this i am loving right now so uh yeah thank you so much for watching please make sure you are subscribed to my channel follow my other social medias and watch my previous videos until next time my loves Mwah. hugs and kisses bye so the next palette i'm using is the reina de caribe so for the lips i yeah until next time my loves hugs Ooh. hugs and kisses Mwah. bye